Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Ash and Rima from Mass Effect Odyssey, and today we bring you a video looking into a very interesting project run by NASA to further the exploration of the solar system, and this is the Squid Rover project. So join us as we look at the science behind the real life Reapers and how they may be key in finding life in our solar system. Life itself needs a few fundamental things to thrive and these are core molecules and nutrients, a medium to grow in and energy. For example on Earth we are carbon based life forms that first grew in liquid water and our energy came from the sun. These fundamental factors are what NASA teams are currently using to theorise where we can find life. In the solar system itself, some of the best prospects for life is actually found on the outer planets along the many moons of the gas giants, but the focus of this video is Europa. Europa is one of Jupiter's 67 moons and is the sixth closest moon to the gas giant. Europa is unique due to a crust composed of ice water and rock that forms the moon's surface, but it is theorised that under this crust there is a liquid ocean made of H2O. Scientists believe the main clue for a subsurface ocean is the phenomenon known as chaos terrain that was observed by probes Voyager and Galileo. This is when cracks and ridges appear on the surface in a distinct pattern. Even though the surface of Europa is thought to be about minus 160 Celsius or minus 260 Fahrenheit, it is thought that there is a liquid ocean maintained due to tidal flexing. Tidal flexing is caused by combined gravitational fields of Jupiter and its moons that together pull at Europa in different directions, causing kinetic energy to build up in the moon. This leads to the moon's core to heat up and making the ice melt. Other than the patterning on the surface of Europa, Geysers spray liquid water into Europa's atmosphere at the height of sometimes 20 times greater than Mount Everest, strongly suggesting that there may be subsurface volcanic activity. Similarly to volcanic activity that can occur on the oceanic floor of the Earth due to tectonic plate activity, it is already well known that nutrients essential for life can come from these plumes. So why are we interested in Europa? Because NASA is. NASA has funded 15 separate concepts with phase one of each project getting around $100,000 with an additional $500,000 for further stages. One of the projects is called the Soft Robotic Rover, nicknamed the Squid Rover. The Soft Robotic Rover is from Cornell University and is led by Mason Peck and Robert Shepard. Other than it looks eerily like a Reaper, its concept is very interesting in its design. To overcome the issue of a lack of solar energy for fuel, they propose using electrolysis to break down water into hydrogen gas for fuel, and breathable oxygen gas as a waste product. The soft shell of rover would also be flexible and allow for the rover to move with ease in the ocean, looking similarly to a squid with tentacle-like structures. Currently only in phase one, we look forward to keeping an eye on this project, not only because we're huge science fiction nerds, but because of the huge implications this project and the 14 other projects can have in finding life in our solar system, and maybe even in our lifetime. We want to hear your thoughts on the Squid Rover, so leave your comments below, and if you want to learn more about any of these projects, please check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and please share this video to help the channel grow, and as always, we will see you next time.